The existence of soap operas has been threatened numerous times throughout the years, yet they have persevered through all of these challenges to evolve and change with the times. Days of Our Lives staff members are more aware of this than others because they are the first soap opera to switch exclusively to streaming, except from the regrettably unsuccessful trial with One Life to Live and All My Children a decade ago. However, the entire entertainment sector has now reached a turning point as, for the first time in 60 years, writers and actors are on strike simultaneously, calling for reforms and protection from being taken advantage of by emerging technologies like artificial intelligence, AI. Since soap opera actors, while members of SAG-AFTRA, are covered by a different core contract, much like news anchors and hosts, this hasn't yet affected daytime television in the same way that the rest of the entertainment business has. They must continue working throughout the strike, unlike other performers, but it doesn't mean they don't fully support it. The hashtags hashtag SAGStrong and hashtag SAGStrike are being used on social media by people like Bill Hayes and Susan Seaforth Hayes to share pictures and memories of the moments they first joined SAG-AFTRA or, in their case, SAG members before the two unions combined. There are countless daytime actors who are joining the picket lines to show support when they are not required to work. Peter Port, Dimitri, tweeted a picture of the guys on the picket line with Galen Gehring, Rafe, Carson Boatman, Johnny, and Greg Reckhart, Leo, along with some comments about how your eye is so dumb that are quite specific to the acting industry. He wrote, Your eye so dim it thinks crafty is an adjective. Your eye is so dim that it considers a half an apple to be a fruit. Your eye is so stupid that it considers possibilities like red and yellow leather. Your eye is so stupid that it considers peas and carrots to be a side. That is pretty stupid because none of those are true. Technically, those descriptions would be accurate for the majority of us, but if artificial intelligence, AI, intends to start replacing film and television creatives, it still has a lot to learn. Red leather, yellow leather is a vocal warm-up tone twister, and peas and carrots is what actors whisper to each other, so you can see their lips moving and hear murmured speech as background conversation. In the acting world, crafty refers to the craft services table, Half Apple refers to the size of the box used for everything from equipment to an actor to stand on, using a standard Apple box as a starting point, of course. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, Daily Bulletin News, and stay with us.